All right, and back to severe weather. Your local weather expert, Peyton Malone, is here. And Peyton, we don't get too many tornadoes here in Louisiana. So yeah. what advice do you have for people? If we get a tornado warning, uh -huh. is there a certain point you need to make sure you're off the road, home, somewhere safe? It's a good idea. Like on days like this, especially where the risk is pretty high, you've got to kind of plan your day around it. So we're watching the weather, checking in frequently. You're ready to go to your tornado safe spot should you need to. We were talking earlier about some interesting things. Bicycle helmets. These are good things to just have in your tornado safety kit just in case you need to use it. You want hard sole shoes, things like that. Maybe you won't need it, hopefully you don't need it, but if you do, you're gonna be glad you got it. Something else you're gonna notice today, boy, those winds are howling out of the south, gusting over 30 to 40 through the afternoon. This doesn't have anything to do with the actual storms. It has to do with the big storm system pulling up that Gulf moisture, and it's gonna stay windy throughout the entire day. So you're gonna notice that, and you probably already have. Tornado watch for the entire area, and remember, a watch just means we're watching. We're keeping up to date and checking in every now and then. You don't need to take cover right now. That's if a warning is issued. So a watch is just watching. A warning means take action. We are tracking showers and storms already, and these are going to be mainly north of the lake. There's really nothing still going on here on the south shore, which is going pretty much going as expected. But some of these showers on the north shore are trying to get a little strong. We've got this one up in St. Helena Parish. That's going to lift up towards Macomb. So Macomb, keep an eye on that cell. Notice just some light showers streaming through Washington Parish. Nothing severe right now, but we're already got some storms trying to pop up in the area. Our main event later this afternoon and evening is going to come from that line right there and right now it's in between Lake Charles and Lafayette. A ton of lightning in it. Nothing too crazy with it right now, but it is moving into a pretty good uh, environment for severe thunderstorms, damaging winds and maybe a few tornadoes. So this is the thing we're going to be keeping an eye on through the rest of the afternoon and into the evening. So that severe weather threat you can see there still at a level four for pretty much all the North Shore up into Mississippi. This is where the tornado threat is highest as we go through the rest of the afternoon and into the evening. South of the lake we're at that level three, but it's still elevated. That's something you don't want to take lightly across here in our area. It's not very often we're under that level three. I want to break down parish by parish, kind of zone by zone here. This is the North Shore, whether you're in Tangy, Washington or St. Tammany and even in Livingston. Notice pretty much everyone under that level four. We're watching the weather from now until around eight o'clock. Now you're not going to see much rain in the next probably hour or two, but as we start to get closer to three, four o'clock, I think that's when we'll really start to see the storms increase across the North Shore and it'll last until around eight, especially down here in parts of St. Tammany. Watching for a few tornadoes. A few could be strong, some high winds and a little hail. Hail's not really a huge concern today. Rainfall wise, widespread one to two inches, but there could be a few isolated pockets, very isolated pockets of around three to five. So we'll watch for some street flooding in a few spots up on the North Shore. Here in the metro, it'll come a little bit later this afternoon and evening. From around five to eight o'clock will be the at least window of opportunity when I think the roughest storms will be moving in. Gonna have to watch for a few tornadoes. Yes, some high winds and a little bit of hail. Rainfall totals down here don't look overly impressive either about one to two inches, so we can handle that if it doesn't fall within, you know, 20 minutes or so. River parishes, if you're in St. Charles, it'll be later closer to six to seven, but if you are in uh, St. John or St. James, it'll be a little bit earlier and then up through Ascension Parish towards Baton Rouge, it'll be even earlier. So anywhere from 3 p.m. out here towards the west, uh, you really need to start watching out for the storms, whereas it'll be closer to six to seven out here towards, let's say, Luling and Booty and the Spillway. Down in the Bayou parishes, anywhere from around four to seven p.m. will be your main time frame for storms that includes Thibodeau and Homa. Also notice your threat for severe weather a little lower the closer you get to the coast. St. Bernard and Plaquemines, especially lower Plaquemines, eastern St. Bernard, a little late, about 7 to uh, 10 p.m. this evening. Going to have to watch out for a few tornadoes. And up on the Mississippi coast, especially in Pearl River and Stone Counties, watching from now through the rest of the afternoon and into this evening. Probably going to be this evening after sunset once the storms actually get down here towards Bay St. Louis, Gulfport, and Biloxi. And you could see um, some storms with a few tornadoes and high winds as well, and picking up a couple of inches of rain. So once we get past today and once we get past our hiccup in today's uh, the weather, got some great weather for you. 60s tomorrow with sunshine returning, just a little breezy, and then 70s and sunny all the way through the weekend.